to the Prime Minister. Um, the other question is about where he was on September the 11th. I'm sure you're aware of reports in Italian newspapers saying that he and his fiancée were in Perugia uh, in Italy for a number of days. Is that true? Um, not as far as I'm aware, uh, but I don't uh, track his movements um, by, the, uh, by the hour. Um, uh, but uh, not as far as I know. So he wasn't there then? Well, as I say, I don't, I don't know, um, but not as far as I'm aware. Um, but uh, just to be clear, uh, that would be in a, um, uh, a travel corridor in any case. Um, but I, no, not as far as I'm aware. Okay. Hi guys, that clip was from BBC News and it was Grant Shapps attempting to um, solve a mystery that seems to be spreading all over social media and the press this morning. And that is, did Boris Johnson go to Italy for a long weekend on September the 12th? To the 13th. So according to the Italian newspaper Repubblica, Boris Johnson did indeed fly to Italy on September the 12th. And he visited Perugia, allegedly, to have a long weekend and baptise his son. Now, he flew there, apparently, on Yevgeny Lebedev's aeroplane. And Yevgeny Lebedev is the owner of the Evening Standard, and someone that Boris Johnson recently nominated for a peerage. But anyway, so apparently these documents prove he was there. But Downing Street have denied that he was there. The problem here is, as far as I know, Boris Johnson didn't do anything wrong. If he flew to Italy that weekend, fine, the rule of six wasn't in operation, he was perfectly allowed to do that. But the trouble is, I guess, why deny it? What's the problem? Why, why say it's not true at all when there are documents coming out that say it was true? It's okay if he took a trip to Italy at the weekend. It's all right. It doesn't matter that much. People can say, well, that's fine. He can do what he wants at the weekend, I suppose, unless he had really pressing engagements he was supposed to be attending to. But he can do what he likes as long as it's within the law. So the weird thing is, why have they denied it? Why are they making this into a big thing that it doesn't need to be made into? Just say yes or no and leave it at that. So what do you think? Is this the government lying for no apparent reason? That's the problem. Are they just lying? Couldn't they have just said at the beginning of the day, oh yeah, he did do that. And I'm sure people would have said, all right, fine, whatever. You know, he went to Italy, big deal. He wasn't breaking the law. And he has freedom, just like we have freedom, to a certain point, obviously, in this COVID landscape. But some are reading the question, well, the jet he flew on, it was private. Did he pay for that? Or did Lebedev give it to him for free? In which case, is that a bribe? Was he going there for some illicit party? Or was he really just going there to baptise his son? It's a mystery, and it's very, very strange. But let's see if it's solved by the end of the day. Bye.